<sighs> well, let's get into the women's tennis thing that you talked about. Let's talk about the true champion. Let's right, talk let's about, about the real let's, women's no, champion. Let's talk about Fernandez. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's talk about that Fernandez. That we said all these nice things. Let's talk about Fernandez. No, let's talk about Fernandez. First of all, tank. <laughs> yeah. Tank. Let's look at, like, if you look at the draw or if you look at the people who don't get angry people i can already sense everybody getting angry don't get angry (laughs) hear them out no if you look at the people who now granted raducano beat fernandez yeah like so in terms of like yeah checkmate checkmate all right that's done but if you look at the people who fernandez like the fernandez beat if you look at who fernandez beat versus who raducano beat it's no comparing yeah no no comparing. It's, it's definitely a more challenging path. To uh, for sure. beat, third round beat Osaka. Now, maybe Osaka is not in the best form, but still, still. big win. Uh, fourth round beat Kerber. Uh, previous U.S. Open champ was head of uh, was number one in the world for a while, right? Like was for, and like she's, for like she's a, been dominating the sport. She's been know. yeah. She's been up there for she's been up there for years. Decade, think, years, yeah. Um, and then Svitalina, who's had like. Amazing, amazing, amazing success season. recently as well. So it's just like, and who's a top name in women's tennis at the moment? Yeah, the only person that that Raducanu really beat, who's like up there, is Bencic. Yeah, right. I mean, Coming just won Olympics Olympic and it's been has yeah. been up the top. And Sakari as well, but like Sakari just recently like had like a good like hardcourt season. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't anything like. She wasn't anything crazy special before that, right? Like, we didn't see anything from her that was like, at least I didn't. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. But but other than that, like, we're talking, like, Fernandez beat, like, top, 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 top players. Just caliber-wise. Yeah. like Maybe it, maybe you can make an argument, okay, Sakari, better hardcore season, blah, 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 whatever. But just caliber-wise, name-wise, it's not even close. Yeah. So, like, good for, like, Fernandez is just, like, and that's the thing is, like, the the the, the the pressure of like having to play like someone like Osaka, someone like Kerber, someone like you know Svitalina, that's like next level stuff, you know. Yeah. And as an eighteen year old just turned nineteen, like to do that as well, like that's some championship. That's some champion level. Imagine because champ- you mentioned they played in the juniors, right? Yeah. And uh, and uh, right kind of won in the juniors as yeah. well. Yeah. But imagine this is the start of some like crazy rivalry. Oh my! Like God. I can see. Like 10 years down the line. Dude. Yeah. Imagine. That would be amazing. Imagine like... I think women's like, tennis needs that. 100%. You know? That's the thing. We were talking about last episode. We were talking about stories, right? Yeah. In men's tennis. Yeah. How like men's tennis has like, you know, Djokovic, Nadal, Federer, Nadal, Federer, Djokovic, obviously. Orenka. So the, the big <laughs> Orenka, You know, and then you got like Murray, t- and then, Medvedev and yeah. Zverev and Medvedev and... Tizzi. Like the, there are so many stories and rivalries within the men's tennis. You yes. know, you have... You have Tsitsipas calling Medvedev a bullshit Russian, yeah. and then he's like, and then the, and then the, you have Djokovic or Rinka like like battles at the Australian li- Open li- every year. You literally, can count on. so it's yeah. like there's so many, there's so much, there's so many stories when it comes to men's tennis. I can't think of one right now when it comes to women's. You, I mean, you like, can, but the only thing is no, it's it's Serena. <laughs> no, that's the thing. That's 100%. the hundred percent. Yeah. But who else? Like who? What other stories right and, now? Like, uh, and Osaka, I would say off the court. Right. I mean, don't get no. me wrong. She's been doing amazing on the court, but I'm saying like her, the story with her is no, no. no. I'm saying like I'm saying rivalries. No, I'm saying rivalries. Though. Rivalries. I'm saying I'm not saying story wise outside of court. Yeah, I'm you saying could. Like, you could. I guess you could make the argument of like the passing of the torch, uh, well, the, from Serena to Osaka, right? You can make that. You can make the argument coming up. But again, long way to prove that. But you don't She's have far like, off from proving that right as of right now. But with you, the accolade she has at this current moment. Yeah. I mean, you have like major athletes, like you have Coco Goff, for example, who's mm-hmm. like blown up. You have, True. that's another person, by the way, who's like major stardom. True. Holy shit. But um, you got like Coco Goff, you got I mean, Serena, obviously, you got like, now you have, you know, Emma Raducanu, uh, Fernandez. You have individual players. I'm not denying that. Mm-hmm. But can you name me like a rivalry? Like a st- I know what you mean. Like Venus Serena. Well, it depends. See, they're, was they're not ri- decade like, long. But there are, like, remember, okay, Azarenka Serena had a rivalry going yes. on for a couple of years. Yes, 100%. Right? Yes, that was huge. That was a good one. Uh, Sharapova and Serena had a rivalry yes. going on for, for a little bit. But it's like, it's like, it's been dominated by Serena. Like, that's the problem. It's like, it's been, it's been so, Serena's had such a chokehold on women's tennis for the last yeah. how many years? Yeah. That now it's kind of like nice to see that, like, let's open it up a little bit. 
but right? I agree. No, I agree. But I still want a few dominant ones. I don't want like I, I, I mean, this is great and all, but like I don't know how great it would be for the sport moving forward if we have like someone who's ranked 150 like that could win a Grand Slam at any time. Yeah, I just think. I mean, that, that's cool, yeah. but like when it comes to the growth of the sport, I think you need those few five, ten, whatever people that are gonna just just carry the sport up. You know what I mean? 100. percent I would love to see like every like major tournament. In like semifinals and quarterfinals, we can look forward to like, oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Like imagine like, Justin know, Hennen, let's Kim imagine Kleister's like uh, Australian uh, Open. The next Australian Open comes around. Fernandez, Raducanu face each other yeah. in the semis. Like yeah. that's a right. That's like a matchup. You know, yes. that's like yes. we don't have that. Like we don't. Ha you don't really see that. You haven't seen that in women's tennis the last like f a couple of years at least, right? Because um, it's been so volatile. Right. It's and it's hard to develop those rivals when it's so volatile. And I just really hope. I really really hope that like both of these players, both Fernandez and Raducanu, develop into like. They like solidify their positions yeah. as top players, and there, there's that rivalry there. And I hope they develop rivalries with other players, yeah. right? I hope and Osaka block. comes back, and yeah. you know, and then it's like Osaka, it's like, wait, 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 what do you think? Yeah. yeah, it's like who, you know, like they just gotta block the noise. Yeah. That's the problem. They have to well, do a good job. Done, it's easier it's impossible done. to do yeah. when you're at the top. <laughs> yeah. of a, it's impossible. But if they can just do a good job of block, and this is where co coaching comes in. This is why you pay the coach and the yeah. agent and the parents and all that stuff. Yeah. Like you need that. You need that support within your team and in your corner to kind of block out all the noise, and just play the ball, man. Yeah. Just play the ball. I just play the ball. No, seriously. Hundred percent. I know it sounds like like literally the advice that like your your you know your your you know ten year old coach would give you. But it's it's true. It's like it's like when you start thinking about all this stuff, like that psychs you out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think both of these girls demonstrated the fact that they played the ball. <laughs> when they had all this press and all this stuff going on, they were able to just focus and take it match by match, set by set, game by game, and point by point. And yeah, and that's and like we said, this was a tournament for young people, right? This was a tournament for young players, and like the the strength that these Fernandez, Raducanu. Uh, like all any on men's side as well, the the strength that they showed was just immense. Oh